Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land. In the previous video we took down, well, basically a ton of World 3. We got everything 100% including the golden flag poles. And in this episode we're going to 3-5 Pipeline Lagoon. We're going to see who we're going to get as a random character. We got Peach again. We're getting Peach a lot it seems. Now this level is, you guessed it, an underwater level. If we blow on our touch screen right, right there, we get a secret box. That's what this little rock is over here for. But it just gives you coins. Yeah, I don't know why that's there, honestly. This little section, though, reminds me of the island in Animal Crossing New Leaf. It's kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe it just looks the same because the same guy worked on it. I don't really know. But anyways, this is, like I said, a water level. And, ooh, what kind of power-up can we get? Let's find out. Come on, Leaf. We got the Fire Flower. It's okay, though, because Fire Flower Peach looks pretty darn cool, in my opinion. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> so, this level is a little bit tricky to find. Um, the green store is on, but you got me, the ultimate guide. Dude, would I ever let you down? We're gonna get these green stars, no problem, and I think we need to find one up here. No, it just looks like it. There's a little indention. Let's take down these... Garn, I can't remember the name of those enemies to save my life. I always want to call them Big Berthas, but they're not. They, It's the spiky ones that are Big Bertha. And okay, if we ground pound enough, we'll just wait for the tide. We can get the first green star. It's very easily. Now that we got that out of the way, let's head inside this pipe. Can anyone, can anyone honestly believe, like, how how many Mario games have water levels? They've been since the first, like, game. It's kind of mind-blowing. We don't really need those clocks or st stop watches. They're of unimportance. And all right, halfway point already. Let's fly down here. Actually, no, just propel ourselves downward with our butts. And uh, take care of those cheap cheeps. Now, the second... Thing we need to look for is right up here. This is what I was looking for. This is the stamp Aruno. Now if we break these and hit that, yeah, we should have a cannon, which is rather nice. If you don't have a fire flower, come on, get the cannon. <laughs> and yeah, the pink cannon. Watch out. And yeah, I think there's a hidden block, yep, with a mushroom in it. I'm gonna not charge those that often, because I know it can kind of be annoying if you're listening to it with headphones on. So you just got to hear the constant barraging of cannons, I suppose. Okay. Luckily, we got those dudes taken down with one hit. And down here should be the second uh, green star. Yeah, there we go. So we gotta just get it. It's honestly so easy. It's like, come on. Are you even trying any more, Nintendo? Seriously. <laughs> I'm just <joking. laughs> The reason that green star is so easy to get is because, well, it's hidden. And this cannon thing is actually kind of getting annoying. It's making my gamepad, like, vibrate constantly. It's kind of... Hard to keep it in my hands, but it's all right. <laughs> okay, let's just... Wow, this cannon is, like, destroying everything that surrounds it. It's pretty overpowered, honestly. Okay, let's try and find... Ooh, a secret! Yeah, this is how you get the golden flagpole. Don't go down that place, because that's a red herring. Just, just be careful, okay? And okay. The final green star is right there. So we got the stamp, we got the green stars. We kind of beat this level relatively quickly. Um, kind of want to get rid of the fire flower suit though because I kind of don't want it but whatever I want a cat suit or a tanuki suit so I can fly around and get all the golden flagpoles but it's whatever let's charge up our cannon and get the golden flagpole with peachy and awesome we defeated that level um hmm probably could have done it faster but eh, it's a water level after all we don't think we even shot one fireball now nah, we did sort of so the fire flower was kind of it was helpful and hey we got a cheap cheap sticker he's gonna sit next to Plessy Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> now, I warn you, this next level is... Oh, how do I even say it, man? Mm, if you, you... Don't be surprised if you don't find any of the green stars your first try. It's one of those levels. Like, I don't know. But this level is simply amazing. If you grew up on Mario Kart like I did as a little kid, this level will be the ultimate fan service for you. Oh my gosh. This is Mount Must Dash. And it is based on one of the best Nintendo intellectual properties. Yep, that's it. Mario Kart. I think if we rotate the camera a little bit. No, we gotta climb up the tree. And it's gonna reveal a bell. Cool. So let's get that. And now we have super fast Kitty Toad. Whoa! And we're gonna jump up there. Yes, this is... Oh my gosh. It is an entire level based around Mario Kart. Specifically Super Mario Kart. And what we need to do is we need to come down here first. Because that is where the first green star is. It's a little harder. That's gonna give you a better reward after all. So now we got that. Let's go in this teleportation box, whatever you want to call it, and hurry up. And it's a giant slide. Oh gosh. 
This brings out my inner child too, it's just like, it reminds me of just being a little kid, playing on slides and stuff, and wanting to run everywhere. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Anyways, we're gonna do a big jump now, however, you're going to want to go into this little box, and oh gosh, it's this part. Eh, we gotta corner this rabbit, we only got one shot to do this. Mm, yeah, we did it, awesome. Be careful, yeah, this part is actually really tricky, be prepared to step on those and get that. And let's do a dive, let's do another one. And do another one. Yeah, awesome. Come up here and get the stamp. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my gosh. This level is just like so amazing. Now, if you want to get the final green star, you need a kitty suit to do that, or a peach to do that. But, uh, <laughs> I'm informative. Anyways. <laughs> gosh. I don't even know what to say in this level. It's just so fast paced and awesome, dude. Gosh. Thank you, Nintendo, for. Just thinking outside the box for once. Honestly, it's really awesome. That was Mount Must Go. Or Mount Must... Dash, I think it was. Yeah, Dash. It was awesome. It was great. I hope there's more levels like that in the future. Hopefully based on actual, like, levels from Mario Kart. That'd be pretty cool. Like a Bowser-themed one. We got the bunny sticker here. Yeah. I wonder if it's the same bunny from Super Mario 64. Huh. No, they're not really the same color, so I guess not. Eh, a boy can dream, can he not? I don't really know what that has to do with ice. But it's in the ice level. <laughs> so, Anywho, now that that is taken care of, the actual really tough level of World 3, in my opinion, is this. Switchboard Falls. We're going to random and hopefully get Luigi. No, we got Mario. We're not getting Luigi, guys. I don't know what's going on. I'm not rigging it. I like Luigi. He's cool. He's fun to control. But yeah, it's one of these levels. It's a mixture of water and everyone's favorite element from 3D Land. These little platforms. Yeah, it's not it's not a cakewalk, but it's challenging. And that's what Mario needs to be sometimes. And if we come over here, I believe, it's a secret thing. Maybe if we... Oh, yeah, there we go. We got a star. Power Star is going to let us not only... Oh, I thought you could walk on water. No, I think you have to already be, like, running. So I'm going to that switch in the center and take down that little dude because he's kind of a jerk. He does a hefty amount of damage. And by hefty amount of damage, I mean exactly one. Be prepared to jump, though, right over here. This is where this fist, green star, yes. Keep wanting to call them star medals, but they ain't star medals. If you want to get the green star really quickly, just ground pound right here. Trust your boy Johnny. He knows what he's doing. It's going to take you directly to the green star. And I think if you do that, yep, there is a fire flower. If someone in your party of friends is missing... Like some power-ups and desperately needs one. There you go. I'm trying to show off some of the secret power-ups that I just find in my own time playing through the game. And no, we definitely want that checkpoint. Checkpoints are very helpful in this level in particular. Anyways. So this part is also a tiny bit tricky. Uh, I want to probably get... Uh, see, there's a time and place to get power-ups. And that time is right now because I want as many power-ups as I can get. And, oh no, it's a fire flower. Crap. It's not what I wanted at all. Oh well. It's whatever. Actually, help us take down these bees. Get out of my way, bees! <gasps> okay. So now, we need to be on the lookout for the second green star, because it's actually right over here. Now, be very careful. You want to duck right here, or you may die. But, for your reward, for your reward of doing so, you're going to get the second green star now. These guys, man. These little guys right here are the biggest pain ever. I don't like them. I got nothing against them. They're just not my friends, really. Because they're trying to kill me! That's kind of a pain, and we want to... Ooh, we want to be careful. So we want to make sure that we get everything we can. Don't go too fast here, because you might miss the third green star. And we want to slowly come up here, then jump really quickly, and get back on our little platform. And get the third star. Okay, super. Now all we got to do is get the stamp, and we should be uh, sitting pretty. So let's... Um, hmm. I don't know about this. We're going a little too fast for my taste, so... Okay. So I think... I think it's better if we take this. So let's go. I may have missed the stamp. No, no, we're, we're good. We got it. Okay, sick. So if we get to that. Cool. Then jump to this platform. Awesome. Awesome. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. All we have to do is go to this one. Sorry if I'm taking my time and I'm pulling. And it just annoys you to death, but man, I don't want to die. And we got the golden flagpole without even using the cat suit. Man, I can, trust me, guys. I can do it. And yeah, that was... uh. In my opinion, the toughest level in this whole world. The entire world, yes. This is the hardest Mario level in the whole world, no. Yes, this specific series of levels. And we got a little bee guy. He's cool. He's got a little bee thing. And good. I'm just looking at that stamp page, though. 
and just thinking. Those could all be things in a, a like, Wii U Paper Mario game. I don't know why Nintendo doesn't do it. It's just my two cents. But we finally unlocked the, uh, mm, the castle level for World 3. I'm going to have to get some power-ups, <laughs> just to be frank with you. Let's come over to this Toad House real fast and check out what they got. Actually, it's not a Toad House. It's There's a Spritzy living... No, there's a Toad. Huh. Fooled me once. Shame on me. And, oh, I want that Tanook. Give me the Tanook. Yay, we got the Tanook. Awesome. So we're Tanooki Mario for this next level. And if I don't get stinking Luigi, I'm going to be a little mad. Because I want to get Luigi. But I'm pressing random every time. Everyone has an equal chance to shine, but it seems like only Luigi's is getting chance to... Actually, no, it's everyone but Luigi, not Luigi <laughs> exclusively. That doesn't matter. Let's come up here and do the World 3's Castle. And this is World 3 Dash Castle, which is the Bullet Bill Express. Let's hit random right here, and hey, we got Blue Toad, awesome. We still haven't got Luigi yet, which is actually kind of weird, but it doesn't matter. Now, this is actually a moving train level. It's very cool, but it is technically moving, so it is a auto-scrolling section, so you gotta be careful, because if you want to get all the green stars, you gotta hustle. And I guess hustling is the best thing that Blue Toad does, so we'll actually be a very good candidate for this level. I want to be careful here, because these are the new enemies, they're little bee dudes, you can't hit them. Once they're on the ground, let's actually turn into Nuke right now, and take him out. It's pretty cool. I like Toad to Nuke, it's cool. I know my. So this part is actually kind of hard. Um, we wanna, oh no, darn. Getting the green star is kind of difficult right there, because well, there's kitty bullet bills hitting you constantly. Now, here's a secret. If you want to beat this part really fast, hit this, which we will actually do since I don't have a power-up to lose from going mega... Mega evolution, it is. Ooh. Now, the reason we get this little power-up is to stop these bonsai bills. Look, Toad's like, man, come at me, bro. On, Kerr. That's what I thought, punk. <laughs> Can't even try me. Bring it. Nothing. Mega Toad. He's got nothing. This guy's... <laughs> but to be careful, though, because... Oh! These bulbos can, actually, technically bonsai bills, can hit you. Go down this pipe if you want to get the third and final green star of this area. Which, um, yeah, they gave us two of them pretty fast, huh? It's an explorer toad. Somehow we got stuck inside a box. It'll give you a green star as a reward, so that's pretty nifty. Let's come up here real fast, though, so we can beat the level. And there's coins, but just to be honest, who cares about coins? Okay, before we finish the level, though, I need to come down here real fast and take down this guy. Ugh, yeah. Take that, you fire bro or hammer... I don't know what they'd be called. So I jump up there, and we just got one more it's fire bro to take down. It's kind of weird how fire bros are always in pairs. I don't know. But here's actually a cool Easter egg. If you look to the way right, you'll see a very small 8-bit Luigi running from the bullet train. Bite on, 8-bit Luigi. You can do it. It's actually kind of cool as a man. This train ain't going to get me. I'm doing my cardio. 8-bit Luigi. You're truly a boss. Anyways, <laughs> speaking of bosses, it's time we fight the boss of this level, which is uh, Boom Boom's girlfriend or whatever. Yeah, I still don't know her name. She uh, apparently became a ninja in her part-time job. Not a very good one, though, since she can't get matching shurikens for her shadow clones. Simply hit on the, well, the real one, and oh gosh. If you actually let her use her move, it could be kind of a problem, because there's a lot of ninja stars to dodge. So yeah, be careful of that. Or shurikens, whatever. And we defeated her, hip hip hooray! We can go finish the level now, wee! I wanna be careful here, I'm actually gonna just cheese myself. Not literally like that, but I'm going to use the cat suit here just to guarantee that I get the golden flagpole, because I kinda don't wanna do that level again. Do I recommend the same for you? No, you can probably make the jump, but I just don't wanna take the risk since I am recording it all. And let's climb up there and get the golden flagpole and furry another one of the spritzy. Princesses, hooray from Bowser's evil jars. Ugh. And hey, we kind of match. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so yeah, I guess all these um little spritzy princesses have their own kingdom. And oh, we got the ninja. I kind of, I kind of like that. I kind of think it's cooler than her having a boomerang. She kind of has like a, a cool theme. And we defeated the train of Bowser, and all of World Three. Or did we? Ooh. As for payment for rescuing her, she's going to build us another see-through pipe, which is going to help us get to the next area of the game. It's pretty darn cool. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Blue Princess. It, it really honestly wasn't a thing. And I like to think that those pipes are actually just completely visible and fully operational, but 
She just goes over there and like tapes off like an invisible tarp or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's go inside this invisible pipe or whatever you want to call it and come over here to this little island and what the heck is even happening? Oh gosh, I don't like the looks of this. Oh my gosh. I don't know what this is, but apparently we have to defeat it. <clears throat> to get access to the next world. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Mario World. This episode of Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. In the next episode, we're going to a banquet with the Histocrat. So I guess I'll see you guys then. Bye.